Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Back on the wheelbarrow project, I'm cutting out the handles today. For this job, I'm going to be using my 8 point branch Disson D8 handsaw. Fine old piece of equipment. Cut straight and true. I want to be sure and lay out the lines all the way around. That way I can, when I do the hand sawing, I can uh, track the line easier. Put a pencil mark on there makes it easier to see that scribe line. Nice to have a few cans around. I use them on the bench to hold parts that won't fit into the plastic ones because they're either too hot or too sharp or too heavy. But they also work out really well as compasses. I can use that to make that line there so that I have a nice smooth radius. I'm going to spin this around so I get a better shot at making a right-handed cut because it's easier for me to cut right-handed than it is left-handed. I can do either one, but right-handed is much easier. Now this is one of my least favorite tools, but it does work. right up there with the hacksaw.
One of the things that I don't like about it is my lack of skill with it. I tend to cut off center and out of the curve. The pencil mark is more for your use than mine. I can see the line pretty clearly. I don't normally use a square, but these boards are twisted. And if I try and rely on the surface of the board, it tends to throw me off. So I'm just using the square to make sure I've got a good start. This is a five tooth per inch, and this is an eight tooth per inch. Eight tooth is actually kind of coarse for a cross cut saw. Five tooth is just about average for a rip saw. Rip saw needs to be able to clear a, a big path as it's going through the wood. The cross cut, not so much. Here we go again with the coping saw. I really don't like this thing. Well, that worked a little better. Didn't wander quite so much on me. Still not my favorite tool.
If I had to choose between the two spoke shaves, and today I am, this one beats hands down. This one will do, this one will do the curve, but it doesn't do it much better than what the 151 does. And the 151 cuts ever so much better. But the 151 is a, is a Stanley and it's a good solid piece. This is a knockoff. It's lightweight. It's hard to adjust. Doesn't have the little adjusting screws on it. That would make a big difference for this spoke shave. It's a little too big for my hand. And if it's too big for my hand, I don't think Lydia's hand is going to work any better. That's a lot more like the diameter that I want, but it still can go down some more. But rather than have you guys watch me shave off a whole lot of material, I'm just gonna... That's closer to the diameter that I want, but rather than have you guys watch me shave off a whole lot of material, I'm gonna call an end to it for today, and uh, I'll finish this up off camera. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.